Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create double angles in Tecla structures, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we're going to create views. So click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Click on create and OK. And close this window. Okay, now we're going to create double angles. So go to application components by using the shortcut control F or you can click on here. In search bar, type double angles. You'll get these three components here. This is the double angles. So select this component and pick the first point and pick the second point to create double angles like this. Unclose this window. Right click on mouse interrupt. By default, we'll get double angle like this. Now we're going to edit this angle as we require the profile and the gap between the two angles. So double click on this angle and you can see by default we have the space between the two angles is the half inch. If you want to change, you can change. For example, we are going to take here 1 inch, then click on modify to see the result. You can see, now the spacing should be 1 inch. Let's take 3 by 4 inch, click on modify, you can see, now the spacing should be 3 by 4 inch. Okay, now I'm going to check the dimension, so go to the elevation along grid A, you can see, go to the elevation along grid A, so click on window and select view list. Click on this elevation on grid A, click on this arrow and close it. You can see now we have the spacing here. So now I'm going to check the spacing. So click on edit and select this measure and select the horizontal distance. And you need to activate this option. Snap to geometry lines of points. Pick the first position here and pick the second position and pick the side of the dimension. You can see now we have the spacing 3 by 4 inch. If you want to change double con it angle, let's take here off inch. Now um, we're going to click on modify. You can see now the spacing should be off inch. Okay, now we're going to check once again. Click on measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and place it here. You can see now here the off inch. Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse interrupt. If you want to change this angle profile, so double click on it. Now click on this detailing. You can see by default we have the angle profile here L 6 by 6 by half inch. Now we're going to change this profile. So click on this button. Then let's take here L 4 by 4 by quarter. Then click on apply OK. Now click on modify. You can see now the size should be L4 by 4 by 1 by 4 according to this option. Now we're going to check the profile. So click on modify apply OK. You can see this profile should be L4 by 4 by 1 by 4. Okay. Now click on window and select this 3D view. These are the equal angles. For example, if you want to use long leg vertical and long leg horizontal angles then click on application components and for example here you can see now here long leg horizontal select this component and pick the first point and pick the second point you can see now here long leg horizontal like this by using this component then i want to edit this component once again so double click on this component now if you want to change the spacing Let's take here 3 by 4 inch, then click on modify. You can see now spacing should be 3 by 4 inch. If you want to change the angle profile, so click on this detailing tab and click on here. Let's take L 5 by 3 by quarter, then click on apply OK. When I click on modify, you can see the changes. Click on modify, you can see now this angle should be L 5 by 3 by quarter. I click on modify apply ok now i'm going to check this spacing so click on window and select this elevation on grid a you can see this is the long leg horizontal now click on measure and select this horizontal distance 
now spacing should be 3 by 4 inch and uh, click on this angle you can see now we have the size here L5 by 3 by 1 by 4 now click on window and select this 3D view now coming to long leg vertical click on this application components you can see now we have this option here double angles long leg vertical so select this component and pick the first point and pick the second point to create double angle with the long leg vertical and close this window right click on the center now we're going to edit this component so double click on this component and you can see now we're going to change the spacing here let's take 3 by 4 inch now click on morphy to see the result you can see now the spacing should be 3 by 4 inch now we're going to change the profile so click on detailing and click on here let's take l 5 by 3 by 1 by 4 then click on apply ok then click on morphy to see the result you can see now it should be l 5 by 3 by quarter click on modify apply ok now go to elevation view you can see now have long leg vertical now we're going to check the measure the spacing between the two angles so pick the first point and second point and place it here now it should be 3 by 4 inch right click once interrupt now select this angle you can see now we have the size here l5 by 3 by quarter click on space right click on studio view click on window and select this 3d view you can place these angles in inclined way so click on this application components and select this angle and pick the first point and pick the second point right here to place the angles in cross like this for bracing you can use this double angle component like this okay okay that's it about how to create double angles in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you